Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I would like to talk about Twilight and who my favorite character is in Twilight. And who my favorite character has been in Twilight. This is a one of four part video. So here we go. Twilight. Now, we're introduced to... Now, in the first few seconds of the, of the movie, we're introduced to... Bella Swan. Bella Swan moves so her mother could travel with her new husband to Phil to freshman play baseball. I guess. I don't know. So then we'll cut to her at the airport to meet her dad. And she lives in Forks now. So it amazes me that she goes to school and meets the Cullen, meets Jessica first. Actually, she meets Eric first, and then Jessica and Angela at lunch. And then Edward in biology class. Now, Edward, his eyes are dark. His eyes are black, pitch black, right? Meaning that he's thirsty. Why didn't he hunt before school? And then he meets all the Cullen. Well, and then she meets all the Cullens. My bad, sorry. And instantly falls in love with them because of their old, oh, good, godly beauty, right? So she meets. Well, before that, hmm, not even before. Uh, she gets, he, Edward leaves to go to Alaska, right? So he won't hurt her. But if, I understand that she's his blood singer and all, but she's also his mate. His soulmate, as you can say. But he goes to Alaska for a couple of days or something, I don't know. But then he comes back, and he's at school. He's in the parking lot with his siblings. He's in the parking lot looking directly into Bella's direction, which she's by her truck, and he's by his silver ball silver car across the lot. <laughs> so, upon hearing... Tyler Crowley's van, or, yeah, van, I think, yeah, skid across the parking lot because there's snow on the ground, and Edward zooms over across the lot to save her. Jasper has wide eyes, which I don't think that's Jasper most of the time, because as... So I'm reading fan fictions about him, about Jasper, and there's another side to him in all his fan fictions called The Major, and he is one of the youngest to be majors in his backstory, which is in Texas, and he's fighting in the Civil War. He's like, what, 19 at the time? I think, uh... But anyways, upon saving Bella, I'm getting off schedule here, but upon saving Bella from Tyler's van, crushing her, he zooms across the lot and saves her. Now, Rosalie doesn't like her, definitely. Rosalie tries to stop Edward from talking to Bella. So when he saves her, Everyone in his family has wide eyes except for Alice. And Emmett, of course. I think, I don't know. We barely see Emmett in, like, the shot where his family is. We only see Rosalie, Alice, and Jasper. But, again, I don't think it's Jasper most of, Jasper most of the time. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... After that, she goes to the hospital, 
And her father comes in. Actually, Edward is right there with her. We don't see that. But her father walks. Her father runs in the room, run, runs in the hospital room, right? And he asks her if she's okay. She says she's fine. And then he spots <clears throat> Taylor on another bed. And he instantly snaps at Tyler because Tyler was the one driving the van, which he has the right to. He's the police officer. He's actually the chief of police officer. Um, he tells her, he tells him, sorry, he tells him to kiss his, li he can kiss his license goodbye. That's like the famous quote in the movie or whatever, I guess, I don't know. Anyway. So upon like trying to get out of the hospital, after getting out, after like after her father comes in and asks her if she's okay and stuff, here comes Carla, the head doctor of the hospital. Now I like Carla, but he's not my favorite character. So when Carla comes in, he checks up on Bella. He's Amazingly beautiful. Instantly, I fall in love with him too. Instantly. Well, he. Carlisle is played by. Who is Carlisle played by? Don't I? I can't remember his name. But, anyways, Carlisle is so beautiful with his blonde hair and, like, he looks mid 20s to early 30s. I don't know. But, anyways, we see Carlisle and then he checks on Bella and. Says he doesn't have a concussion, but in the books, he has a concussion. So, upon him telling her she can go home, she stops in the middle of the hallway as she hears Rosa yelling at her brother about saving her. And Edward is talking to Rosalie and says, What was I supposed to do? Let her die? And... Again, Rosalie doesn't like Bella. I don't think Rosalie likes him anyway, to be honest. But it was clear to me that Rosalie doesn't like humans knowing the secret, I guess? I don't know. But anyways... She goes home with Charlie after their, like, whole, like, uh, after Edward and Rosalie have, like, a back-to-back -back argument or whatever. Carla tells her that to finish the argument or whatever in his office. And Edward sees Bella and he goes to Bella and then she asks him. How he got to her so fast. And then he says. I was standing right next to you. Which he wasn't. Clearly. Obviously if you watched like the first. Few minutes of him back in the movie. Then you see him clearly across the lot. But whatever. Um, After their like whole argument or whatever. He goes home. Well they go home. Her and Charlie goes home. And Edward and his family go home, I guess. Um. What happens? Oh. The night after that, I guess. Or the day after that. They're not at school. Because it's sunny outside. And they don't want to sparkle, I guess. I don't know. They don't want to, like like a disco ball I guess I don't know but anyways they um the night they Bella and her friends go to Port Angeles to shop for dresses and after Angela and Jessica pick out the prom dresses Bella doesn't even know she's going to prom, to be honest. I wouldn't either. Which, but I did go to my prom, so, 
Um, the minute after that, she, Bella says she will meet them at the restaurant, which they are going to eat at after. They come after they shop for pound dresses, I guess. Uh, the night after she leaves the bookstore to get a book of the Clear Tart Legends, I'm guessing. Jacob told her about the cold ones. I don't know. Played by the gorgeous tail on there, obviously. But yeah. Upon after upon like leaving the bookstore, she gets followed by drunken boys. <laughs> Lo and behold. It's drunken boys. Right? So they wanna do God awful things to her, and Edward swoops, swoops in and saves her. And then they go to the restaurant to eat. Edward automatically tells her that he can read every mind in the restaurant apart from hers, and she asks him what's wrong with her. And then he chuckles and says, See, I tell you I can read minds, but you think there's something wrong with you. After Bella eats, she leaves with Edward and he takes her home. And he goes home. Then he goes back home. And then cut to the baseball scene. And, well, they she meets... Edward's family the next day, I think. She meets Carlisle. She sees Carlisle again, which she met Carlisle already. She sees Esme, the mother figure of the group. She meets Emmett, Rosalie, and then for some reason, Rosalie still doesn't like her. Obviously. Even though she told Rosalie that she's not going to say anything to anybody about the family. Well, before we get to that, Edward tells, well, she reads the book that she bought from the bookstore. And she Googles, <laughs> uh, she Googles vampires. And instantly sees a picture of Carlisle biting a woman's neck. Or a vampire biting woman's neck. And instantly thinks about Edward's cold skin, his speed, his strength, and everything in between that he has. So she figures out that they're vampires. So she figured out, figures out that he's a vampire. I don't think she figured out that his whole family are vampires. I'm not sure. I think he figured out his whole family. I think she figured out his whole family was a vampire. I don't know. But upon doing her research, as you can say, she goes to school and thinks of Edward. Oh, uh, what happened? And then she meets the vampire family afterwards. She sees Carlisle again, which she's happy about. She sees Esme. The mother figure. She sees Emmett. Emmett waves a knife at her. She sees Rosalie. And Rosalie just stands there like annoyed. And then here comes the two lovebirds. Alice and Jasper. From a tree. Jasper stands there stiff as a board. Because he can't handle the veggie diet I guess. I don't know. But... Oh, no, no, no. Edward tells Bella about... Edward and Bella skip school one day. And they go like, hiking or whatever. And Bella asks Edward about questions about the other vampires that killed her father's friend, Waylon. Take his name? Yeah. And he says, there's others out there. And then... He, he, um, he says that other vampires have abilities such as 
he can read mind and Alice can see future. Nowhere in there there's mention of Jasper. I believe Jasper is Jasper has like no real credit in the movie. But again, he's one of my favorite he's my favorite he's one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite my only favorite character. I'm not sure. But upon asking him questions about his family, vampires, I might add, it's the next day, it's sunny outside and they aren't at school. So, she dreams of the night when she gets home, she dreams of Edward being in her room, which he actually was there, as you can see in the movie. He actually was in her room look, watching her sleep, which is creepy. But I can't say I can't say nothing because I do the same thing. We're getting lost off track here. Um, the day after, Edward comes and tells her that he's going to take her home to meet her to meet his family. And then when he leaves, he spots Billy Black and Jacob. And Jacob is confused of why Billy is acting so coldly towards the cold ones. To the vampires. To Edward. So after they after Edward leaves and Billy and his son comes to the house. Billy is like, Billy and Jacob get out the truck and Jacob hands him like a brown paper bag that has like very clear about his homemade fish, fish fry, I guess. Is it? And Charlie comes in his cruiser and hands Billy beer. Uh, but. Going in the house. Yeah. So. <clears throat> we meet. Well we see Carlisle again. We meet Esme. I met Alice. And Jasper and Rosalie. Now. As soon as Edward and Alice come in. As soon as Jasper and Alice come in. My bad. Sorry. Jasper and Alice. <laughs> Come in from from outside. Edward stands next to Rosalie stiff as a board because he's new to the veggie diet because they only survive on the blood of animals instead of humans, which other vampires do. Vampires have red eyes and they have golden. So Alice comes up to Bella and sniffs her. I guess. I don't know. That's, again, it's creepy. Okay. So, they meet. They all meet. And Jasper just stands there staring at her because her blood is too, like, Purifying for him, I guess. Uh, too delicious. I don't know. But Edward and Bella is if you if you can see clearly from the book of how he treat how Edward treats Bella in like the first few seconds of the movie, you can see that their friendship, I guess, is very toxic. Um, what else? Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, so Edward tells her. So, upon after meeting the whole family, Rosalie breaks a bowl of salad because she's pissed off, obviously. 
And she can't believe Bella because she thinks Bella's gonna tell. Well, Bella's gonna snitch. And she breaks the salad bowl. Emmett comes around the, the table or the island around the kitchen and rests his arm around Rosalie to calm her down. And Edward gives Bella a tour of the house, a tour of the house and they stop at his room. And she sees no bed and he says he doesn't sleep at all. So he he has music and he wants to dance with her, but she disagrees. He doesn't like dancing. Bella does not like dancing. She's not coordinated at all. She's very clumsy. But yeah, when she says that she's not scared of him, he uh, leaps with her on his back to a tree and he tells her to hold on. And he calls her a spider monkey. <clears throat> Upon act, doing after after that, he goes home. She read the books. He goes in the in his back in his house from the tree. Um, and then Alice and Jasper walk in, I think. And I asked them to play baseball. <clears throat> which Edward happily agrees to and Bella is confused as always but <clears throat> in the movie they don't do that they go home oh he drops her at home and the next day she prepares beer for Charlie as he cleans out his gun his, uh, his, yeah his gun not his pistol, his, um, what is it, rifle? I think it's a rifle. Not sure. But anyways, yeah. So, he gets that, and he looks at his, his daughter, well, Bella is, like, I have a date with Edward Cullen today, and Charlie's like, isn't he, he's a little old for you, isn't he? Isn't he? And Bella says, no, he's a junior. I'm a junior. And then she says, I thought you'd like the Collins. And he says, I thought you didn't like any boys in town. And she says, Edward doesn't live in town, technically. And then she also says, he's right outside. And then he says, he is? She says, yeah, he wanted to meet you. Not officially. She's very nervous, obviously. And she opens, she goes to open the door and Edward walks in. He introduces himself to Charlie. And he reads Charlie's mind because I don't know why. But anyways, they're outside and Bella's getting ready for baseball. And she asks, since when do vampires like baseball? And he explains to her that it's an American pastime and there's a thunderstorm and she'll see why they can only play in thunderstorms but cut to the baseball scene we see Emmett, Carlo, Rosalie, Jasper, and Esme waiting for Bella messing around waiting for Bella and Edward to get there and finally they actually get there and music starts playing. It's called, the music, is, the music that plays in the movie is called Massive Black Hole, I think. And Jasper tosses his baseball bat around, which I don't totally believe, I don't totally think that's Jasper when he plays baseball. To be honest, when he plays, like, when he does anything, like, super alarming to him, I don't think that's Jasper. Because if he, See in like the first interaction where they actually meet, Jasper's eyes are a bit darker than they need to be. I think that's another part of him that he tried so hard to hide called 
the major. But whatever. Um they play baseball and Alice gets a vision of three visitors and she yells stop to all of them and they quickly all rush over to Bella and of course Esme is already there. Um the three visitors come out of the woods. They're known as Laurent, James, and Victoria. James is a tracker, obviously. And Victoria is James's mate, which is weird. But she acts like she's Laurent's mate, too. I don't know. They meet, they meet, uh, they meet each other, and Carl tells him that they maintain a permanent residence nearby, permanent, permanent house nearby. And Edward is by Bella, and he reads James, he's stuck in James's mind of joining Bella, and he's furious because, well, in the fan fictions, James is already dead, and I believe Victoria is too. <laughs> So, Edward becomes furious because Bella's his to join in the fan fictions. But in the movie, he becomes furious because Bella's his mate. He must protect his mate. Right? So, they go on a hunt. Well, they track James down. Well, James runs back, and so does Victoria. And they like this whole montage of scenes happen where Bella and Eva, like, leave Forks to go to Arizona. Which, I think Arizona is too freaking obvious for a place to hide. They should have hid somewhere James can't get her, like, Texas. If, I mean, if Jasper was going, if Jasper was born in Texas, and going with Alice and Bella to hide her, because supposedly Edward can't go because the tracker believes that, the thinks, well, Carlisle tells him the tracker will follow him because he has Bella with her, and he wants to instantly kill Bella. And Jasper re and Edward reluctantly let lets Alice and Jasper take Bella to Phoenix, which Phoenix is too obvious of a place. Yeah, Phoenix is what she's born, whatever. Anyway, upon leaving for Phoenix, Arizona, they are Edward. Well, not Edward, but Jasper and Al Jasper, Alice, and Bella are at the hotel, and but uh, at a hotel in the room, and Bella sees James change courses, and Jasper is quick to get a paper and a pencil, and Alice. Draws a picture of the ballet studio where Bella, where Bella took Bella lessons when she was good, and she instantly remembers the ballet studio. So when Alice and Jasper leave the hotel to check out because they have to leave, oh, when they go to check out, Bella gets a call from James about him having his mother, which. Is a total lie. So, she meets James at the ballet studio, and instantly gets attacked by James because instantly figures out that James lies because of the recording of her mother, and many Bella. Um, she instantly gets attacked by James and. Her hand is burning, and 
she gets knocked around and stuff. And then she goes to the hospital in Phoenix? Phoenix? I don't know. Whatever she goes to the hospital. Um she is lying in a hospital bed and her mother is there and she wants her to come to Jacksonville with her to live with her in Phil. But she doesn't want to do that. She wants to stay in Forks with Charlie and Edward, apparently. And she leaves because... Renee leaves because Bella asks her, asks her to go get Charlie. She goes to get Charlie and Edward wakes up. He's pretending to sleep, so he wakes up. And he asks... He asks Bella to leave and go to um, Jacksonville with her mother. But she harshly declined because she can't live without Edward. She can't leave Edward to... Yeah, she can't leave Edward. And Edward is furious upon hearing this and wants to stay away from her but knows he can't. So, at the end, they go to prom together, and they dance. Upon this, upon doing this, Victoria is right there. Like, she's upstairs in the ballroom, I guess, I guess it's called. The ballroom, and she looks out the window at the couple, and she's still mad that... She thinks that Bella killed James, which Edward killed James, but whatever. So, yeah, that's where the movie ends. So, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and like this video. There's more coming if you want. There's more of the rants coming. That was just part one called... The movie was about Twilight. The movie, uh, the rant was about Twilight. If, again, if you like this video, please subscribe and press the like button. Peace.